Okay. So yeah, this is the sunrise alarm clock. Uh, the basic idea is you set your alarm and then you set how long of a sunrise you want ahead of time. So let's say, for example, an hour. Then uh, an hour before the alarm goes off, this super bright LED over here slowly turns on until the alarm, it's alarm time. And then if you're still not awake by then, um, there's a backup optional audio alarm. <laughs> okay. Um, because otherwise, it's, this, it's just like a piezo buzzer. It's, it can be kind of annoying. Uh, but you'll definitely wake up. The notion being that you'll be gently woken up by light instead of that's for the pr pr heavy yeah, that's adrenaline. Preference. Um, yeah, a, a nicer alarm, like audio alarm system, is sort of like beyond the scope of what we could accomplish this time around. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So yeah, and then the next big feature is the LED itself back here. This is by Soul Semiconductor. It's a Sun Lake LED. It's their that's what their line is called. Uh, so it has a bunch of different phosphors in it, which basically mimic. Uh, this the full spectrum of sunlight uh, and that's sort of the idea behind that LED so let's see um, all sorts of cool functionality going on here uh, let's just start with the, the LED itself so in addition to all the alarm features I have implemented something called I like to call the night light mode okay. um, where you can just turn on the, the light um, and you using the rotor knob you can just sort of adjust the brightness uh, so you can just sort of use it Oh, that's cool. As is, mm -hmm. and you just want to use it. You can toggle that by pressing on the rotor switch. <sighs> you can this see is on a the, huge heat sink, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the heat sink is way oversized, but okay. Then I mean, it costs the same as all the other ones. So and it came integrated with a fan, so that's why it's linked with it. Cool. All in one solution. Better to go bigger than to not have enough, really. Um, so this is just the TFT that we have been using. Um, at this point in time, it's displaying the time. Uh, I have colored squares in the corners, uh, which are sort of like visual indicators of what's going on. This blue one means that the thing is in nightlight mode. Uh, so you can see when I press it turns that on and off. Uh, the red one in the bottom left there means the alarm is enabled. Um, so you just quickly glance at the clock and be like, okay, the alarm is on. Um, so you don't have to be like, get up, like look at it, like is it on or not? Sure. Quick visual reference. Uh, there's a yellow square in the bottom right, which we'll see later, which means uh, it's in sunrise mode, so the light will be slowly turning on. And then the top left is another red square, which is when it's like actually an alarm, it's actually blaring the alarm. That's sort of like to keep track of the state. So if it's like you see those squares, but it's not doing what you think it is. Yeah. That was part of our debugging process. What time is the alarm set for? Um, I think eight a.m. Because that's when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wake up with it? Yeah, I used to it. Use it. <laughs> it works awesome. Really? So you woke you up with the light? No, I was no. way too tired for that, but the okay. alarm definitely woke me up. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, next interesting feature on this screen is uh, the second button switch just turns off the backlight. Okay. Um, so that when it's nighttime, the LED can, or the LCD yeah. can be kind of bright, so you can just turn that off uh, with that switch. Um, another big feature of this whole thing, uh, before I get too much farther, is all the switches are uh, hardware debounced. Um, so using a resistor capacitor network and then going into a Schmidt trigger, um, I'm able to get really clean outputs that way, uh, so there's no software debouncing. I just go straight to the uh, interrupt pins yeah. and use them as is. Uh, took a bit to figure out the hardware stuff, uh, but I, I think it was, it was kind of neat. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, let's see, this other switch just brings us to the menu. Um, so this is the menu screen, um, and you can move around with the rotor encoder. Um, let's see, so this has all the alarm information in there, so you can enable the alarm, um, set the hour, minutes for the alarm. Uh, you can set whether or not you have an audio buzzer huh. to accompany it. Um, this is the length of the sunrise, so uh, for the demo, I have it set for one minute. Uh, and then you can enable or disable that. Uh, and then you can set the time as well. Uh, on So if, I mean, it, sh it retains the time in between power outages. Uh, so you can see when I plugged it in, it was at the right time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's set minutes. So that's that. And then you can just like press on the knob the arrow will turn right and then you can just change this setting here. Wow. So, let's 
Let's see, it is 9.06. Uh, it's a, a thoughtfully put together interface. Well, I fully intend to daily drive this thing from now on. Yeah. So I wanted to make it nice and usable for that. Uh, so you see, I set it for, uh, I have a one minute sunrise length. Okay. Set to go off at 9.08. Uh, it is now in sunrise mode, uh, and you see the, I mean, we're going across a minute here, so it'll go up pretty fast, but for a demo here, you can see it slowly goes up, right, 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 right. If we're actually using this in your daily life, what, what sunrise time I, do you prefer? An hour. An hour? Yeah. Okay. With the last one I had, an uh, hour is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Half hour is not long enough. Beyond that, it's kind of excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that thing gets really bright. Yeah, it's brighter than my room light. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like the color of it. it has it's just like just a really nice color. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so when this finishes with the sunrise, will this? Oh, and see? then the alarm comes on. Uh, then it went into alarm mode. There is a buzzer inside. You can see there's a hole here where I had the buzzer in front, but this buzzer is like triple taped right now and inside the box. So when I had just had it at the front, it was like, like fire alarm loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sort of like hide it away. Uh, and then you can see sunrise mode was over. It transitions automatically to nightlight mode. Um, so if you wake up, you're like, oh, it's too bright. You can like dim it a bit. Um, um, uh, oh, it's still in alarm mode. That's why it doesn't like me doing messing with stuff. So you press the yellow button to end the alarm. It enters the nightlight mode. And you can wake up and do all the rest of your stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, I called it the Sunrise Smart Connect. This was built with the MIT App Inventor. Um, so basically like drag and drop interface, code blocks, things like that. It uh, worked pretty well. Um, it replicates almost all the functionality of the screen on this. The only thing I didn't implement was setting the time. Uh, it seemed excessive. Okay. Uh, um, but it wouldn't have, it would have been possible. Um, so I just have to hit quick connect, um, and then you'll see it's connected. Um, and so for example, I can toggle the backlight on and off. So if you're laying in bed and you're like, oh, I don't want to get up, you can toggle the backlight. You can toggle the alarm mode, so you can see the red square in the left, bottom left is like uh, getting set there. Uh, you can toggle the nightlight. You can actually set the brightness of the nightlight as well. If you're just laying in bed, you can do all of that. Um, then you can get the currently stored alarm, so you can see it populates all the fields in here. Uh, then you can edit these. Uh, so you can say, make this one. Uh, I send the alarm to the box here and then if we look on here the hour has now changed to 10 so you can like just push all the alarm data back to the box and you can awesome do that without a glare yeah yeah and i believe that's everything <laughs>